61A, lecture number 28, announcements. Homework 7 is due tomorrow. Midterm 2 regrade requests are due on Monday. Today, we'll talk a little bit more about Scheme first, and then we'll go back and talk about Python again. I told you last lecture that we were done with Python. Well, not quite. Your fourth project in this course is to build a scheme interpreter in Python. So you're going to have to write Python code in order to write a program that can execute scheme code. And in order to do that, there's one more feature of Python that is quite handy in designing interpreters called exceptions. So I'm going to cover two completely separate things today. One is about scheme. We're going to look at how you can write a program that writes other programs. Well, that sounds kind of cool. It's one of the reasons that people get excited about Scheme and Lisp in general, is that the syntax, while kind of hard for people to read, is very easy to manipulate using programs. So I'll show you some examples of that. And then we'll jump to something completely different, which is exceptions in Python. And what's the point of those? Well, they let you declare that a problem has occurred in lots of different places in a program, and then handle what to do when that error occurs in just one place, which is particularly convenient for building an interpreter where you have a big programming language, you're trying to describe how to execute programs in that language, errors can pop up all over the place, but you usually want to have one uniform way of dealing with those errors. And so, the exception mechanism in Python is very handy for this, and we'll learn how it works today, and then we'll start applying it on Friday.